I believe in having your own residence too. If you can afford it, that you should not live with your partner. Um, if you can, if you can afford it because it weakens the polarity, that's the number one thing. Mm. Um, if you can't afford it, that you, that's at least, if you're dating, obviously when no, you get married, no, 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 no. In marriage as well. What? So the, you yeah. should not live no, no, with no, each other? No. Uh, no. You don't so, think that a husband and wife again, should live together? Again, again, what about with kids? Okay. And, and I'll, I'll address all it all. Again, I'm speaking, yes, I'm speaking extremes, but yes. and couples do modify, but you'd be surprised. Ask some realtors now what homes are selling and what homes people want. They want them with separate bedrooms and separate bathrooms. Okay, but that's... Oh, yeah, but it's still I the same home. Okay, but they're the in the same, same home. Same okay, home. separate bathrooms. Same I'm home is good. I'm okay with that, though. <laughs> the, the, yeah. the, here's the reason why. The reason why is it's very simple. And then you have to see and look and see what's working now. If it's 50%, we know all the stats on marriage. We don't need to go over. Yeah. So obviously what we're doing now is not working. Agreed. Now the tantric perspective is all about polarity. That's what I teach. So polarity weakens because everyone sits at home and Netflix and chills. When you do that over time, that charge isn't there anymore. And you don't want to fuck your wife. You don't want to fuck your husband. And that splits up marriages. Mm -hmm. So my, the, not my concept, the concept that I teach and live by is that the more you're actually away from each other, the more you come together, it's actual conscious time together where the man mm -hmm. is present with you. You're not working business deals and I'm in the same room and we're calling that spending time. No, you're like with me, right? Your phone, yeah. your iPad's put down. I, you know, I satisfy your sexual needs you hold me you cuddle we love we connect we do all that stuff together that's quality time mm. when you come into my space you feel my feminine energy is charged and when i come into your space i feel the same but is if a man is working all day yes and you guys live in the same home when he comes home wouldn't you say that's like enough space i mean it, it even it, if you have like separate rooms i get getting ready separate like i'm not yeah, opposed to i that. mean i'm saying the extreme is separate houses but at least separate rooms where but you're not spending every night together because yeah. what happens mm -hmm. is in the same bed so what happens is at night you know about like your chakras and your bodies you have mm -hmm. five different bodies your energy bodies actually connect and merge at night mm -hmm. and then it weakens the polarity you notice like your grandparents or you know like people have been married a long time they start looking like one another and then they're like, oh, this is my best friend. I guarantee you they're not fucking, right? Yeah, well, they're 80 years old. Oh, uh, gross. But, well, yeah. I'm not even By saying. the way, a real fun fact, the highest age bracket of STDs, STDs. is like 65 plus. It's in the nursing plus. home. It's nursing home. <laughs> These all people are they paying. They are going. Here, here, look, I know that a lot of time, a lot of what you say is ideological, yeah. not necessarily realistic. Yeah. Here's what I will say is realistic. I don't know many couples are going to have separate homes or even separate bedrooms. Yeah. I'm saying many. I, I, yeah. I am sure Spend nights that apart, it does exist. But even Victoria was like, well, separate bathrooms, that's yeah. nice. Here's what I, I recommend. And I did this. Yeah. Um, the girl that I was with for a long time, um, we had, it was uh, like the main master Sweet. bathroom okay. in, a, in a loft. And then there was like a second smaller bathroom, what have you. Um, and what I realized was if we were getting ready in the same bathroom to go like on a date or out and I saw her putting the dress on makeup, all this stuff. and the, saw her putting the makeup on and you know, it's like, it wasn't as appealing as listen, I'm going to go, I'm going to use the downstairs bedroom mm -hmm. or bathroom. You do your thing upstairs. I'll obviously I'll be ready an hour before you. I'm just going to go. I'll have a <laughs> drink. I'll be game, sitting whatever. down. But when she comes down the stairs you and I see that. the final product, I'm like, we love right, it. We don't even need to go. Yeah. We like don't let's just stay in the water. goddamn house. Correct. It's because the guy, want, you know, I don't want to see the process of the whole situation. That's yeah. polarity. I What's your feeling yes. is that. And that's what happens when you live together, you sleep together, yes. you shit together, you get ready. It's too much. So I know what I'm saying is extreme. Yes. But what I tell my couples that a, are living yes. together, at least take one or two nights where you don't, maybe you don't sleep together. Mm. Maybe, especially if you're traveling, like a lot of men who yeah. travel. You don't want that. I like to cuddle. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but eventually <laughs> cuddling <laughs> leads to just being best friends and not that you want your man to want uh, to fuck that's you. That's true. You want him. And the men, remember, men yeah. are visual and they need to be excited. Uh, if they're Men don't care about cuddling. They do. And unless they're more beta, the more they'll want to cuddle. I do care about cuddling after, after sex. After sex. Because <laughs> you, right. But yeah. it's not like high priority. You're not like, God, I can't wait no, to cuddle. You're, you're on to something here is that 
because I've been in relationships that you just get too comfortable. You get it's too like, comfortable. And then we you go know. to bed. It's like, you know, like she puts a pimple cream on. Like I'm wearing my glasses. Like sleep tape it's over like your like mouth. It's like there's nothing sexy about two people that are just. But if it's like, all right, we're going to be in that bedroom, whatever. And then, you know, Correct. bang, bang, bang. You know, maybe cut, whatever. Like I do get that there's, again, moderation. You got to find the balance. Moderation. If you're spending the same in the same bathroom getting ready same bedroom every single time same same Eating, same sleeping, same same working all this it's stuff. gonna get stale redundant and stale. that's exactly entropy, what you're saying atrophy it's the law of the universe i don't make the rules i just tell you ways that you can biohack the system people don't just like it because yeah. they're like well i want to be close every minute of the day great, great, great. well mm -hmm. great no. but it's not gonna work in the end uh -huh. just look at the stats the numbers don't lie so if you like that clip click right here to watch another or if you want to watch the entire sauce cast click right here